I'm Megan Kelly, live in New York City with new fallout from O'Reilly's interview with the president. Fact-checking the president after his dramatic one-on-one -on -one with O'Reilly. It's just an outrageous lie, uh, it, it, and it, it's kind of hard to call it anything else. We break it down, the facts versus fiction. Plus, we're just trying to determine whether or not he's exceeded that authority. New efforts tonight to cut off the president as he goes around Congress to push his agenda. Judge Napolitano is here. And then a Kelly file investigation. What is the story behind the filmmaker getting ready to release a documentary on Anita Hill and Clarence Thomas 20 plus years after the fact? And new developments tonight on the shocking death of a Hollywood great. Go f yourself, you f child. What the cops are saying about Philip Seymour Hoffman on The Kelly File right now. And breaking tonight, new political fallout from the brand new, just released clips of Bill O'Reilly's Super Bowl Sunday interview with President Obama, during which the president blamed Fox News and Bill for the scandals plaguing his administration. Welcome to The Kelly File, everyone. I'm Megan Kelly. If you have been watching Fox News tonight, then you know O'Reilly and the president covered a lot of ground in this interview seen over the last two nights. But there was one message that seemed to come up repeatedly. Hmm. Here's a little bit of it, 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 But look. Give me how I'm unfair. Come on. You can make that accusation <laughs> without telling me. Bill, we just went through an interview in which you asked about the health uh, healthcare not working, IRS, was, were we uh, wholly corrupt, Benghazi. Right. Right? So the list of issues that you talk about. But these are unanswered by, by, questions. Yeah, but, but they're defined by you guys in a certain way. Regardless of whether it's fair or not, uh, it, has, uh, it has made Fox News very successful. That was President Obama. And look at this from Hillary Clinton. Quote, it's so much more fun to watch Fox when it's someone else being blitzed and sacked. Hashtag Super Bowl. Turning me now, Mark Thiessen, who's a fellow at the American Enterprise Institute. So both the president and Hillary Clinton deciding to take shots at Fox News on Super yeah. Bowl Sunday. And then David Pluff, the president's uh, top campaign guy, sends out some tweet bashing the GOP. And I ask you whether this is all a what a coincidence that they that they would all come out and decide. I mean, whomever could they be trying to rally, Mark? Um, maybe their liberal base. Look, Hillary Clinton is much more used to going on television and having people block and tackle for her than they are, she is getting blitzed. Uh, so, you know, Fox News is the only one who's asking these tough questions. I just find it amazing that the president of the United States, with how he defines unfair, you asked about Benghazi, you asked about the IRS, you asked about Obamacare. I mean, no one else challenges him on these things. So when he gets in front of Bill O'Reilly and Fox News and gets tough questions, it's unfair. Mm -hmm. But look, he's trying to rally his liberal base. Here's the, here's the reality of it. Liberal Liberals are very frustrated and dispirited with the president right now. There's a Gallup poll that shows that Obama's support, not just in the country, but among liberals, is at the lowest point of his presidency. 62% among liberals, support among liberals, compared to 92 when he came into office. He blew the, the rollout of the biggest new government program in a generation. They're frustrated with him because of that. For, for the next generation, anytime someone proposes a big government program, all conservatives have to say is it's another Obamacare. They know the consequences of this are long lasting and they're very frustrated with him. So picking a fight with Fox News is a great way to distract them and get, and get them ginned up again. Is it, you know, is it beneath the president? Is it beneath Hillary Clinton? Now, the Hillary Clinton thing was particularly amusing only because back in 2008 when she was running for president, name another network that gave her a fair shot. It was to the point where her campaign manager yep. came on Fox News and said, God bless Fox News. You really are fair and balanced. And now she's, oh, it's so nice to see somebody else getting sacked and pushed around on Fox. Oh, poor Hillary. Yeah, that's before she presided over the uh, the Benghazi deba debacle. So now all of a sudden, Fox News is the only one who has stayed on this story, who has not let go of it. Everybody's moved, and the else in the country has moved on. And the questions haven't been answered. They're legitimate questions, and Fox is the only one pushing. So of course she's frustrated with Fox News. It's so aggravating to have you know these questions persist about yeah. Benghazi, about yeah. the IRS, about health care, Mark, and yet. Is this is this a rallying call for the for the left wing base? Does this actually make does does the notion that Fox News is covering these stories, which, by the way, are being covered to some extent by the rest of the media? It's not like only Fox covers the IRS scandal and so on. Um, does that make them what go to the polls and vote for Democrats in the in the 20, 2014 midterms? 
Oh, I think it's a very feeble attempt to restore uh, to restore support with liberals. But look, they've got to start somewhere. And the reality is, they're in, when you're the president of the United States and your base only gives you 62% support. I mean, you need your your base support to be in the 80s and 90s. Mm -hmm. When you're when you're at 62% among self-described liberals, you're in real real deep so trouble. So your solution so is, is your solution is to give an interview to Bill O'Reilly and try to challenge Bill. Hey, you know they're they're struggling over there. Is all I can say. They're looking they're looking for ways uh, to rally the base. I mean, was, they want to change was, the subject, move on from all these topics, and attack you guys. I have to say, if he was looking to fluster Mr. O, uh, he failed. <laughs> Bill did not get flustered in that interview, and uh, he doesn't get he flustered very often. School. It he occasionally did. happens. I've seen it, but it did, I didn't see it on He was pretty tough Sunday. on us in the Bush administration, too. You know, the president said, uh, you know, well, when, when I'm gone, what's going to happen to you guys? Well, you know, I was in the Bush administration on the receiving end of a lot of O'Reilly barbs when we were there. So, exactly right. Uh, it, it's bipartisan. We were number one under George Bush as well. Mark, good to see you. Absolutely.